We have reported on so many crimes lately involving kids, both kids as victims and kids going down a criminal path. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake spent the day with people determined to find a solution. Authorities are still looking for the 17 year old. They say murdered two teens this past weekend. Just recently, two other teens were arrested for murdering two 16 year olds in Alamance County. When will this violence stop and what's being done to help teens who are troubled? I went out today to find the answer. Juvenile crime. It's just so sad to see these young people take lives. Continuing to happen. I don't think anything about it. After two recent murders, authorities believe were caused by teenagers. I headed to a local juvenile crime prevention council meeting to see what's being done to help troubled teens. Sometimes uh, families need support with uh, mental health, uh, therapy, uh, just mentors. A lot of our programs do those types of things. The JCPC essentially helps existing programs find the money they need from the state in order to provide help to teens. One organization that was at the meeting was Youth Focus. So a lot of times our youth, they can fall through the cracks, but we want to help be that safety net for them. Youth Focus is a local nonprofit that helps youth to achieve safety, security, and success. Executive Director Sarah Rothlinger says one way they help teens is helping them get off the streets. When youth are on the streets and they're per they're, um, you know, stealing or getting involved in crimes, a lot of times they don't have good supports and resources within their families or their neighborhoods or communities. She also told me that homelessness is a huge problem amongst our teenagers, giving them a greater chance of getting involved in crimes. Youth Focus says their goal is to reach these teens early and give them the resources they need to prevent that from happening.